हेलो वेलकम टू टेक्स शर्मा इन दिस सेशन वी विल जनरेट और क्रिएट अ न्यू रिपोर्ट फ्रॉम द एग्जिस्टिंग डेटा इन अ फिजिकल फाइल ओके सो देर इज सम डेटा दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टोर्ड इन आवर फिजिकल फाइल ए एम पी पी एफ यूजिंग दैट डेटा वी विल जनरेट वन रिपोर्ट थ्रू आर पी जी एली प्रोग्राम एंड प्रिंटर फाइल सो लेट्स सी हाउ टू डू दिस बिफोर वी डिस्कस द प्रोग्राम लेट मी शो यू द डेटा दैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज सो आई एम डूइंग रन क्वेरी ऑन दिस फाइल आर क्यू ऑन ए एम पी पी एफ hitting enter so you can see that we have stored five records here from employee id 101 to employee id 105 now this data we are going to utilize for our report generation so to generate report first of all we need to add one member of prtf type so in our uh, previous demo part like we discuss how to add this prtf right so in same manner using you can press f6 and you can press f6 and from there you can Uh, put the source member name type and description and then once it is added after that you can take option 19 to design the printer file so let's see what we have designed here so these are the information that we have stored here now to show means uh, to add the record we know that we can directly use dr for defining the record and after that you can use vf for view the field as we discussed in previous demo part right so in same manner i have de uh, declared three headers and one uh, two data part so for the first uh, header 0 i just store hyphens uh, just to show our this dashed line on the printer file or report i added this then on header 1 what we are doing we are just uh, showing one text as uh, current date then th this is the field so if you want to check the field name you can press f4 here it will show all the fields that we have declared so you can see that first is just a normal text current date then credit field then employee report current time text and current time field okay so likewise i have declared all these fields and this is just a normal text employee report now if we talk about the header 2 portion then we, here we are just showing the column name or heading employee id employee name employee salary now below to the this we are using another record which is data 1 record format data 1 and here we are uh, taking the field but this time we are not declaring the fields manually we are using the field referencing so let's see how to do this so for field referencing you can press you can simply press f10 so once you press f10 it will open this work with field data uh, database field here you can take option 1 for add field in library you can put your library name for now i'm just keeping this field uh, blank because i want to select the field from there then you can pass the file name my file name is emppf here i will put pass the emppf r my record format name and then simply hit enter so you can see now all the fields are there so you can just simply select those field which you want to show in the report and then hit enter fine so this is added now you can see at the bottom these mark is coming like this 1 2 3 so in vf means in the view field portion like if i add here vf okay yeah here i will put vf and now wherever we i want to uh, show these field what i will do i will just simply place my cursor and take the options from below so if i want to show employee id here i will take option 1 here if i want to show employee name then again now the list has updated so one for employee name and two for employee salary so let's say i, I want to show employee name so i will take one and likewise i can select employee salary okay so this is how we can uh, refer the field so what what is the advantage of referring the field referring the field advantage means like now these field name have the same name as we have file field name so at the time of program data population there is no need to populate data it will automatically uh, like once you read the file it will automatically transfer to the respective fields no need to uh, assign the values okay now as we are not going to use these because we have already declared so i'm taking shift f4 to delete the fields so it is deleted okay now we will simply go and write file to save and exit and simply compile this program so report is generated report is compiled now means report is designed and report is compiled now we will write the program 
so to write the program you can simply add one rpg member then take f2 uh, to open the program in edit mode let's see what we are doing here we are writing the code in fully free format here i'm using the control option as no debug io and src stmt for debugging purpose below to this we are declaring one printer file so to declare the printer file you can use dclf then printer file name so my printer file name is emp report keyword is printer users is star output and here we are using one indicator of lind which means overflow indicator so let's say if we are printing the report and uh, due to the large number of records if the file page changes in that case it should come up with a new header so we are just taking care of this so that's why we are declaring this overflow indicator below to this we are declaring one file so to declare the file you can use dclf file name is emppf users star input output you can change as per your requirement and then key uh, it's a keyword file so i put keyed now below to this we are declaring one variable which is the uh, employee count okay now from here the main logic is started so here we are just simply assigning the values in the uh, printer file field so card date is a printer file field here we are assigning the current date using percentage date building function then current time using percentage time mental function and then we are uh, writing the headers so firstly i'm writing the header 0 then header 1 header 2 okay now for data 1 means for data part what we are doing we are reading the file so just setting the pointer on star lower in emppf then reading the file till do while not end of file and here i'm maintaining the count why because in if you remember in the last field we have mentioned total employees so this field we will assign there okay so we are uh, iterating each loop and then incrementing the employee count with one here we are checking if in 90 is on it means overflow occur in that case what we will do we will write a header again so write header 0 header 1 header 2 and reset the indicator again then end if and then we are writing the data part so here you can see that we are not assigning the uh, employee id employee name and employee salary field why because we have already take the reference in the printer file so whenever we are reading the file it is automatically uh, moving or automatically assigned to that printer file fields then we are writing the data one if you are uh, declaring the field manually in that case you need to assign the data right otherwise no need M means if you are taking reference then there is no need then we are reading the record again and one by one we are doing it for all the records below to this we are just assigning the value to employee total employee field of printer file okay so i'm assigning emp count then writing the data two part and then we are printing the message uh, report generated successfully and after that we are just setting the star i and r request to star on one thing i would suggest I, I would like to suggest here like i forgot to keep the prefix for this printer file so i but i recommend you to keep the prefix so that it will be clear to you like this field is coming from printer file okay so like it should be like uh, p1 underscore total amp so it will indicate that yes this field is coming from the printer file or as per your coding standard you can opt this thing okay so program is ready now we will save this and compile this compile successfully now i'm calling this so you can see that message is coming as report generated successfully now check to check we can either go with sp for spool file or we can use the command work spf both command will do the same option means provide the same screen and now press shift f6 and you can see last is the report so i'm taking option 5 here so this is how our printer file look means report look okay all five records are there and these options we are not assigning in the program because we have already uh, uh, taken the we have already taken the reference from the field files so it is automatically populating inside because both printer file field name and file name are same so once we read the data it automatically move to that particular respective field then we are showing the employee total count and this is how our printer file work okay so we just discussed like how to cre uh, create the printer file for displaying the records from the physical file and then we saw like how we can write a logic to show and to generate the printer file 
so in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech channel